Hello everyone, this is Cheryl with CNC RV Deer Yet. We get to hear a lot about Yellowstone National Park, but how much do you know about the Grand Teton National Park? We didn't know a whole lot, so follow us the adventures of CNC and we will take you on a tour of the Grand Tetons. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Jackson is the gateway to the Grand Teton and the Grand Teton is one of the most beautiful places in the world. The town of Jackson is near the southern end of the Grand Teton. We started our day in this cool town, Jackson Hole, a town in Wyoming that sits at 6,237 feet high, with a population of 10,500. Jackson is famous for their skiing and their ski resorts, but they are also famous for their town square. Their town square features four arches made of shed antlers from elk that winter on the National Elk Refuge. About 7,500 elk spend the winter there each year, and the bulls share their antlers each spring. The antlers are picked up by the Boy Scouts and sold by public auction in the square every May. Park Road is the 20 mile highway that runs north to south through the park and takes about one to two hours depending on how many stops you want to make or you can spend all day. It's such a beautiful scenic ride.
The Jackson Hole Airport is located entirely within the Grand Teton National Park. This is the only airport within a national park. Junction is located about eight miles north of the park entrance. We took the left turn here and headed up the Teton Park Road because we were heading to Jenny Lake. Jenny Lake is one of the most visited areas in the Grand Teton National Park. We spend a chunk of our time at Jenny Lake because we took a boat across to see the waterfall on the other side of Jenny Lake and the views were absolutely stunning on both sides and the ride across was just awesome. My name's Ryan. I'll be getting you guys across the water here. Just a few things to go over real quick before we get underway. Uh, life jackets. I've got children's life jackets underneath these first two rows of seats on the right hand side. Those will accommodate anyone under 90 pounds. Underneath the remainder of the seats, something very similar to this. Either direction works, just make sure you get your head through the hole. Strap around your body, secure it to the D-ring, pull that tail tight to secure it around yourself. Um, in the back, we also have a throw ring in case anyone wants to take a quick dip, but let's keep everyone in the boat today. <laughs> I have no intentions of using that throw ring or the life jacket today. I hope you guys have a similar sentiment, but if we do have to throw those life jackets on, we've got an emergency exit off the bow. 
or either of the sides, but not off the rear by the motors. Sound good? Good. Cool. Should be about 10 minutes to get across the lake. I'll give you some more information as we get closer to the one. 80% of this lake is deeper than 200 feet, so all the more reason to stay in the boat today. <laughs> cool. Again, my name's Ryan. If you guys have any questions, just give me a holler. Thank you. The boats run every 10 to 15 minutes and the cost is $18 per person round trip. And when you go over to the other side of the lake, you can hike up. It's a short hike to Hidden Falls and view these beautiful falls. And you can continue hiking over to Inspiration Point for a spectacular view over the lake. Teton National Park is open 24 hours a day year round, but the most popular months to visit are the summer months between May and September. All the roads and all the facilities are open during this time.